What's the crack lads? Welcome back to another epic player review. For the epic cards in South America, we've got Maradona, Batistuta, and Danielson. So two Argentinians and one Brazilian. And these are good cards, man. Look, I'm not going to lie and say that these are not worth spinning for. Batistuta plays way above his stats. He always has. Danielson is going to be an absolute winger magician. And we've got Maradona, who is potentially going to be one of the best cards in the game. But there are a couple of interesting ones here as well, and interesting talking points to get into. So we are going to be going over to eFootballDB and checking out the players. But just to give a quick rundown player by player first, we've got Batistuta. Look, he's got a wavering form, first time shot, captaincy, heading, long range shooting, knuckle shot, rising shot, every shot that you could possibly want, you can hit with Batistuta, he's an absolute beast in front of the goal, you just turn and shoot with Batistuta lads, but you also have the aerial threat with him, he's a good height, he's good in the air, and he's got really good offensive awareness, especially as we train him up, he goes 29 levels, we'll see that in a second, a long ranger is his playing style, uh, kick and power is really strong his offensive awareness and finishing are perfect balance there with the kick and power and he's not that slow like people might look at this card and think oh Batistuta is slow you know he's like Collar he's like Morientes they're not slow players lads I mean if you've got a player that has 80 acceleration which we will have with this card and we train him up in a second and simulate it on eFootballDB.com we'll see that he's actually quite a very very decent striker that you can have as you know your main striker that you can play with just him up front so we are going to take a look at him in uh, two seconds, which is now. So not to keep you guys waiting, we are over. He's got 29 levels to go. Now, if I was training him up, lads, I did a video on how not to make any mistakes when you're training players up, right? I know for a fact that some people will be like, oh, what's his max overall? You know, can I get him to a 96 overall or a 97 overall or a 99 overall? Instead of focusing on what you actually want his role to be in your squad, what stats you need if you are going to have him as your main striker, right? So for example, right, if we have 29 levels with 56 progression points to go here, you know, we don't need to worry too much about passing, dribbling. We also don't need to worry about defending, obviously. But we could decide, right, we want him as an aerial threat. And if you want him as an aerial threat, you're going to have to need that uh, header into the 90 and you will also need to jump into 85. That's what you'll need, I reckon. Uh, you could go higher, obviously, but there's no point wasting points there. If you are picking him as that type of player, you also need, if you're not dependent on pure speed and shooting and finishing, you also need your dexterity of acceleration, but you, also, you mainly need the offensive awareness, which brings him up to eight points on that. And then you also probably need to focus on a little bit of speed up to 75 just to give that uh, kick and power a little boost. Maybe, you know, max it out at four there. And then you're probably focusing on finishing. So you can get that to a 90. So you've got 90 away offensive awareness, 90 finishing, 90 header, and then 88 kick and power with 82 acceleration, right? Now, if I was training him, this is how I would train him, right? So we're going to cancel all of this. I'm going to do this a little bit slower. This is my recommended Batis Shooter training uh, guide, right? So I would definitely focus on getting that up to 90. You don't need to, but you might as well do the extra two points and bring it up to eight because it's only two points progression uh, per one. When you go to nine, it takes three off you. So I would leave that at 90. I mean, if you can't finish with a 90 overall uh, finishing stat, then yeah, you need to get into the training ground and practice your finishing. No offense. Because, you know, you can finish with 80 finishing. That's not a problem if you get a one-on-one -on -one or whatever. Dribbling. I'm actually going to boost this up a little bit. I'm going to put that up to four because it's only going to cost me four points. Now, this is where the card kind of deviates a little bit off where we just had it a second ago. I'm actually going to boost up his acceleration a little bit more to 10. I'm going to leave this at 80 because I'm not going to be using him. Now, I'll leave it, no, I'll leave it at 81 uh, just to get the aerial strength up of the jumping and that we might revisit that in a second. And then I want to get his kicking power up to 90. So whatever that is to get it up to 90... We have a 95 overall baddest shooter with 10 progression points. Now from here, I can probably, you know, boost up a little bit more if I want to. Um, we could do, you know, a little bit more of the dribbling. We could do the lower body strength. I'm probably going to boost up two on that. And then we also have six points left. I'm going to probably boost up one of them, two of them. And then we've got two points left. And then I'm either going to probably put it in the dribbling or I'm going to put it in the defense or in the head. Now, that's how I would probably leave him. You've got 92 offensive awareness. You've got 90 finishing. You've got 92 kick and power, 84 acceleration. I think it's a way better card. Plus, you've got dribbling, so you can use him as an all-rounder. 
So that's just something to keep in mind, lads, when you are training him. I know he does have a 96 overall, but sometimes the max overalls, if you haven't checked out my training guide video, especially if you're a newcomer, please watch that video. I will link it in the description below. So moving back, we also have the main pick, I suppose, which is Maradona, but we'll get to him in a second because we have the Nielsen. Now, on looking at the Nielsen, lads, right, he does have B rating. He does have standard form. So the B rating is very important this year uh, because obviously as the legends all have that. I will be going back to Battle Shoot in a second, lads. This will be a slightly longer video, uh, but I have a little different kind of setup for it. Very good player skills. He's got amazing run and trickster. He's also got really good acceleration and dribbling as well as balance. His offensive awareness lets him down a bit, but as a winger, you don't need that quite as high as the other players. Now, the problem is, right, there's no real problem, but the problem is with the Nielsen is that there are a lot of players, which we'll see in a second, that kind of, you know, shape up quite well with him. So we're going to focus on the three main things. We want to get that to 90 straight off the rip. We want to get that to 90 straight off the rip or even more. Yeah, I'd probably go there. The offensive awareness is a little bit of a worry with this card and I would probably put that at 90. Now from that, we don't need to worry too much about anything else. I'd probably give maybe six points, maybe eight, seven points into that to get his low pass to 70. It does make a little bit of a difference. And I don't need to focus on aerial strength or defending. If you wanted to, you could boost up his defending like a little bit to get the aggression up. It's not going to make a massive difference. And shooting is not going to make a massive difference either, right? You could get 70 uh, finishing quite easily, but I don't think it's worth it. So I would leave that at maybe that at eight points. And then I put the dribbling up to 10. I would put the dexterity up to 12 or maybe probably 13 and then I would probably put two more into dribbling. 96 dribbling, 90 ball control, 91 tight possession, 96 acceleration and 90 balance, 90 speed. This is probably one of the best left wingers in the game now lads at the moment, right? Absolutely insane card, insane card because you don't need to pump any stats into team play style, right? But as I talked about it before, and we're going to do this in, in a second with uh, Batistuta, you look at the likes of Diaz, right, who's a, re a left winger for Liverpool um, and Colombia. Very, very good player. And if we were to simulate, you know, how we want to get him to play exactly, if we want to stay free to play and we want to simulate a player like this, very, very, very similar players, I think, um, you're going to be able to do that quite easily, you know, and it, it doesn't cost you that much to do it. Uh, you only have been looking at about 200,000 GP and you're going to get an excellent winger as well that is very similar in style to Danielson. So you don't need to focus too much. You could put in a couple into low passing. You're not going to get it up to 70. I wouldn't waste the points. I would just have this guy as kind of like my speed demon left winger um, and just pump in the rest of the stats here and just get that power up, get that acceleration up, get everything up that you could possibly want. I think the big thing with him is getting the dribbling up. You're not going to be able to get it on par uh, with the Nielsen. But if you look at the Nielsen, he's got 90 there. So if we are to just bring that back a fraction and then pump two more into dribbling, you've got a fairly, fairly beastly dribbler. So if you are staying free to play, lads, that is definitely an option. With Batistuta, I would say Immobile is an option, right? So with Batistuta, the three things that we need to focus on here are offensive awareness, kicking power, and finishing. So again, for this guy, we're going to get that finishing up to 90. We're going to get the dribbling up a little bit. We, we can actually pump that up a little bit higher. We're going to get that up a little bit as well to 8. We're going to get that up as well. We don't need to focus too much on the aerial ability. We can pick and choose. But yeah, I think that's a fairly good card as well if you are looking to have a budget Batis shooter that plays like him. Similar style, similar player cards with the shooting player skills, uh, similar finishing, offensive awareness, similar kicking power. Obviously, he's going to be not on par with Batis shooter, but it's just food for thought. And then last but not least, lads, we do have the main man himself, Maradona. The reason why you're probably watching this video. Is he worth it? Is he a game-changing player? Now, I do have Maradona in my squad, and he's a 93 rated overall, I think. I'm not too sure which version it is. I think it is the... Yeah, I think it's the, 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 the version that they released already. Uh, the legend one. But this guy, this card, lads, goes up to 99 overall when you max him out now, right? I wouldn't put him up to 99, depending on how you train him, how you guys want to train him. But the unwavering form with the B rating means you're going to have him up more often than not. He's got insane dribbling, lads. Absolutely insane dribbling. One of the best dribblers in the game. I do think he is be better than Messi, uh, cutting in on that left flank or right flank, depending on where you play him. You know, you can play him left or right of it. I know you can play SS and AMF, but I would definitely play him as an AMF, cutting in from the left or cutting in from the right with the shooting, because I'll show you in a second how 
much variety you can have with this card because it's it's insane right so firstly he's got 35 levels to go as you see there 35 levels to go and for this i'm going to focus on him a little bit differently right so acceleration is probably where we need to sp you know spend a bit of a bit of uh points we're going to bring eight up to that that magic eight we're going to bring eight up to that just to get his acceleration and his stamina balance and defensive awareness all up dribbling we don't need to focus on the dribbling past you know four points into into dribbling because 90 dribbling and a tight possession and ball control is perfect for an amf or an ss we don't need him on the wing beating players like this is more just about having brilliant first touch you know being able to turn around and, and pass off or else shoot passing needs to be a bit higher we're going to put eight into that just for now we're also going to put eight into shooting right now the reason why i'm putting eight into shooting is to get the free kicks up to get the curl up that's the main thing to get the curl up for those finesse shots right that's kind of the main port of call here so i'm going to give 10 onto that to get the place kicking or the set piece taken up i'm going to get his curl and finishing up that you should be able to be able to score with messy able to able to <laughs> with messy like range shots and then the dribbling we can boost that up as well a little bit just to get it up we can also i think we're okay with the speed i think we can also get the passing up i think just to get that lofted pass up and maybe then if we want to have either one more into dribbling or as we can put one more into passing depending on where you want to play him right so i would probably put him there that's kind of how i would train him up we've got like insane stats there dribbling is is perfect acceleration and balance are perfect defensive awareness is is fine for an ss or amf and we've also got the finishing now if you are going to be using maradona lads i recommend that you definitely need to have shooting in your arsenal like you need to be a good finisher you need to be able to do shots from cutting inside like how i score a lot of goals with messi cut inside you're not really dependent on pace too much if you are playing maradona as a amf and you don't need to worry too much about shooting and you don't you know you're not you're not the best at creating angles for yourself you can actually reduce this quite a bit I would still leave four in there just to bring up his other stats like the finishing and that if you do get chances but if you're playing him as a just kind of a pure passing amf like if you just want to have an amf that can just rinse people i would definitely just boost more points into that i'd probably put 12 into that just to bring his low passing up to 87 and then i would probably have one more in the speed just to bring up his stamina a little bit as well um but i definitely think that you should leave 80 on curl because you will get chances with him trust me on that now as i said lads i am giving an alternative with this now uh, fakir is, is not going to compare with maradona lads there's just no there's no chance because maradona's card is one of the best that they've released so far but if you wanted to you can have a, a player very similar especially if you don't focus on the the shooting too much um you can have a player that's very similar you know you can get up to the mid 80s or low 80s with that you can get up to the high 80s or low 90s with that and then you're also going to have a little bit of speed there you're also going to have a little bit of the acceleration as we saw um you're obviously not going to have a card as good as him that's not going to be possible with this but i think that the biggest thing about this card is that you're going to have a very very solid amf for quite cheap and he plays very similar you know there are similar kind of height similar weight similar handling they've got different playing styles and a few different player skills but they've a lot of uh kind of yeah a lot of similarities as well both have unwavering form so yeah look maradona is a beast of a card lads depending on how you train him up as i said i definitely would recommend um the passing you know being left at that and i would definitely recommend the, the shooting being brought up quite a bit that's how i would train him up uh definitely how i would train him up you don't need to worry too much about the or about the about the passing or anything like that i don't think that that's a massive concern uh if you are you know you know going to be shooting with him you can get him up to level 98 there you see with that but we're going to focus on the shooting that's going to be a big thing for this card with us we're going to focus on the shooting because the dribbling is high enough as it is the dribbling is high enough there like ball control is perfect i think the shooting is probably more important if you are going to be using this card the way he really excels so that is it for me lads a slightly longer video let me know what you think of this format where i compare a kind of a standard gp player or would you like a quicker version of it where i just look at the players in detail so yeah that is it for me lads i'll talk to you later peace